Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to one of them pointless, divulgent comparisons, if you want to call it that. Um, we've got two stouts, uh, which I've reviewed before and I've liked before. And I thought myself, I like them both. And I thought, well, what one do I really like? Not not what, you know, what do I personally prefer out of these two beers? So the beers we're going to compare is, the first one is the Brewdog Nitro Jet Black Heart. The Brewdog USA, should I say, Nitro Jet Black Heart. And this is a vanilla oatmeal milk stout. And this, this is clocking in at 6%. And, and I'm going to compare that with... Uh, the one from Marks and Spencer, and this is the Arbor Cafe Creme. And this is a luxurious oatmeal stout brewed with freshly ground uh, coffee and roasted cacao nibs. And this is coming in slightly stronger at 6.9. So these beers I really, really enjoyed. I have to say I liked them both. Um, um, and, you know, this is just one of them videos Really, it's kind of like a selfish video, really, because, you know, it's one of them videos, the two beers I really like, and I'm just going to compare the both of them, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So let's crack this Nitro open. Now, this Nitro beer was in Morrison's, and it's also, um, there's another Nitro out, the Chocolate which I really, really rate and really, really enjoyed as well, so... Pick that one up as well. This one's been in Morrison since, I would say, about two or three months. Now, the Arbor, I don't really go to Marks & Spencer's much. So, the Arbor's been out, I think, a little bit longer in Marks & Spencer. I, re I reckon it's been, um, I think, came out just after Easter, I think. So, um, the can size is, while we're at it, um, can size is 402 millilitres on... The Brewdog and it's 440 on the Arbor. So let's get the aromas from both of them. Obviously, they're slightly different because you know one's more coffee and one's more vanilla, but see what we get. Lovely little vanilla pod there with a hint of chocolate and the uh, the cafe creme. More of a ground coffee feel, definitely. But I both smell gorgeous. So at the moment, which one do I prefer? It's a dead heat. I like them both. <laughs> Diplomatic as always, Mr. B. <laughs> so let's crack. No, I've already cracked it. Let's pour it out already and see what the. It looks gorgeous. Velvety smoother, as you can see there. Sauce, it falls, it falls a bit short because it's 402 mil. So there we go. Let's stick the cafe creme in. As you can see, a little bit more carbonation in this one. You can hear it. As with the nitro brew dog. Of course, it's a lot smoother, more velvety. If you know what I mean. So, as you can see already, appearance-wise, um, in the appearance. So, at the moment, it's a draw. <laughs> in the appearance-wise, I know what which one I prefer. Funnily enough, um, and you'd be surprised to say that I prefer the Arbor, uh, the Cafe Creme more than the Brewdog. Even the Brewdog looks beautifully silky smooth. I just love the colour of that head on the Arbor. The, the, the lovely mochaccino, mocha head. That looks more appetising to me than the Brewdog. Just does. So, there we go. Let's move them over. So the aroma in the glass for the brew dog. Again, it's not much different from the can. Vanilla pod, definitely there. Like milk chocolate. No. Um, the aroma 
out of the arbor yeah more it's more ground coffee and dare i say a little bit of ash in that there's like an ash aroma so the proof is in the taste now so the arbor well <laughs> the aroma right let's go back let's write it back right it's dead heat in the cans for the aroma so it's one a piece right uh the appearance is two one arbor the aroma i'll have to go with the brew dog so it's two two all so it's very very even stevens for me so i think it's just down to the taste to be honest so i'm gonna go in first with the brew dog nice smooth feel chocolate coffee note there yeah it's it's an it's a nice feel um definitely um maybe because of the the you know because of the smoothness the and it is pure velvety smooth i do think that It does feel a little thin. So, let's go with a cafe creme. Slightly more bitter, definitely. Slightly more coffee flavour for me. Um, the mouthfeel is not as smooth, but with the cafe creme, it feels like it's got a little bit more character to it, a little bit more character, um, with the beer. I think if you have something so smooth, like, um, the brew dog. I think you lose a bit of the character of the beer to a degree if you have a you know a nitro however beautiful it looks how uh, however velvety smooth it is it does for me that smoothness the looks for me, dare I say, it feels like it exposes the flaws in the taste. If that makes sense. No, of course it doesn't make sense. So we're going with the cafe creme. Light roasty feel. Nice mouth feel. A slightly rough rustic feel to this beer over over the brew dog just adds a lot more character a lot more it brings them taste notes alive more for me having that slightly more you know rougher mouth feel it, it does bring the beer to life that for me doesn't so boys and girls we got a winner. We got a winner. So, out of these two beers, price range, I think they were both 350 I think it's both 350 a can. Out of these two beers, which one do I prefer? And I have to say, um, I enjoy both of them in the, on their own merits. They are both great beers. But for me... The winner, which I'm going to uh, enjoy the rest of tonight, is the Arbor Cafe Creme. I just feel it's got more character, more character to it than that. I just feel, for me, that feels, it suits me better. Um, that 
is a little bit too smooth, too clinical, too velvety. And for me, it just creates a bit of a thinness for me. That one is the winner. So thank you very much for watching this, you know, divulgent, um, pointless comparison. Um, look after yourselves. Uh, enjoy your beers like you do. And I shall see you in my next beer review. So in the meantime, see you then.